My colleague relates a story pitching a Middle East sovereign fund to invest in his firm. After all the stops have been pulled out, the aged sheikh holds up one finger and utters one word: philosophy. He meant investing philosophy, but we answer why philosophy, and why Wittgenstein's conception of language is the only philosophy you'll need in AI or investing. In the measures of AI, Turing's criterion on intelligence, the Turing test, and related computational foundations, the Turing machine loom large over progress towards a general intelligence. Given satisfaction for some of Turing's requirements of recent work, Turing's philosophical contributions may be prominentory as abutted with Wittgenstein's philosophy of language. In particular, we focus on Wittgenstein's later manuscript, Philosophical Investigations. A text that reads as a collection of first principle cones, rather than a traditional logical elucidation, superseding his earlier tractus logico philosophicus. As first explicated by Hofstadter's Gödel, Escher, Bach, cones act as paradigm-shattering inducements to break through the Gödel incompleteness of axiomatic thought, such as the language dimensions that form our experience of the world. Wittgenstein's work prescribes a path forward for the development of one pillar of general intelligence, in concert with the external world problem and other minds paradigm. It is a path to general intelligence. First, why philosophy? Wittgenstein answers: What is your aim in philosophy? To show the fly the way out of the fly bottle. Section 309, Philosophical Investigations. As a precocious genius, Wittgenstein was raised with the cultural elite of Vienna, as afforded by a captain of industry patriarch, his father. He continued seeking the best teachers, landing on Bertrand Russell's doorstep to launch his philosophy career as an undergraduate. Like the personage who first inspired Cohns, Wittgenstein gave up family fortune to think deeply by retreating to the desolate Norwegian landscape. Publishing a masterwork on language posthumously, his most famous results spring from the repeated characterization of the language game. In short, the context of words, life, and actions that surround the real use of language that define humanity and the human experience. Such results are especially relevant in lieu of recent advances in natural language processing, such as GPT-3 by OpenAI. In the specific and general, also. I.e., named entity recognition, and tasks such as negation detection, cast in light of categorization and representation learning facilities. Wittgenstein's investigations delineate some successes of the neural network approach, casting the Turing test as perhaps a paper tiger, and recentering progress towards the language game as a pillar of general intelligence, as especially corroborated by Google's recent release of Big Bench, which we cover in the linked. Video. The top three language models were evaluated on a collection of tasks in the benchmark superglue, many of them involving logic. Does each task represent a language game, as described by Wittgenstein? The superglue benchmark was subsequently displaced by the Google Big Benchmark suite. NLP algorithms excel at named entity recognition in situ. As evidenced by the lexical task of co-reference resolution, in the figure from Superglue. Yet tasks more characteristic of language games would bring us to papers such as question and answering in context, which surveys multi-round interactions centered on learning. Modern algorithms still fall short in the interactive learning tasks of language use. Wittgenstein provides an assistive. Metaphor describing language games in relation to each other as recursive and adjacent. Section 64. Perhaps an apt metaphor would be cities and towns growing to form a vital nation. Work from Berkeley explicitly renders an open knowledge graph from language models, a natural consequence of the language game paradigm. In analysis by Chris Manning's lab at Stanford. Language models for tasks transfer decompose into primary functions such as lexical and syntactical. Again, Wittgenstein predicted these primary elements. He wrote, "Yet strange to say, the word this 
has been called the only genuine name, so that anything else we call a name was one only in an inexact, approximate sense. Section 38. Philosophical Investigations Wittgenstein further conceives the act of reading as guiding in section 171 to 178, a form that meshes well with sequence processing of text modulating neural network weights. Language games capture structural aspects of modern NLP. He wrote, to understand a sentence means to understand a language. To understand a language means to be master of a technique. Section 199, Philosophical Investigations. In concert with corroborative predictions, Wittgenstein has prescriptive items underlined by language games. Some emerging work has focused on language games ringed by motivation. The work from Georgia Tech involves a, quote, system that, one, incorporates large-scale language modeling-based and common-sense reasoning-based pre-training to imbue the agent with relevant priors, and two, leverages a factorized action space of action commands and dialogue, balancing between the two. How would Wittgenstein's conception of language guide such research? His concluding thoughts in section 630 demarcate. Imagine these two language games. A. Someone gives someone else the order to make particular movements with his arm, or to assume particular bodily positions, gymnastics instructor and pupil. And here's a variation of this language game. The pupil gives himself orders and then carries them out. B. Someone observes certain regular processes, for example, the reactions of different metals to acids, and thereupon makes predictions about the reactions that will occur in certain particular cases. There is an evident kinship between these two language games, and also a fundamental difference. In both, one might call the spoken words predictions, but compare the training which leads to the first technique with the training for the second one. His analysis indicates inspection of the games and their relation when training as the herald of the next level of human-like performance. Further, there's a particular stress on domain-specific problems. The difference Wittgenstein marks is that task-level evaluations may obscure granular and game-centric approaches towards successful performance. Section 551 delves into the subtleties of negation. Does the same negation occur in iron does not melt at 100 degrees centigrade and twice two is not five? Wittgenstein intimates, even though the examples are of two different domains, one is reconciled by factual world knowledge and the other by axiomatic arithmetic. The resolution of negation is in the playing of the language game. Work on domain-specific language models implicates negation emerging from domain corpus is required for successful performance. Section 556 describes an almost vector quantity for negation, which a transformer query target NLP model captures well via the strength of associated attention mechanisms. What are the implications for investing? The most useful data sources are at the intersections of the language game, the regions where market participants interrogate each other about assumptions and plans. We cover the relevant data sources, namely earnings, call transcripts in the link video and take a moment to like and subscribe if you made it this far in self-reflection let's press on with some criticisms a critical examination of wittgenstein's ideas isolates his definition and rejection of a private language which in his thought experiments run contrary to the notion of the language game in one popular example section 293 his thought experiment of the beetle box a simulacrum of an internal process labeled by the individual as a beetle would not hold correspondence across individuals in the same way an actual beetle would. The strongest empirical criticism arrives via Majid et al. probing the diverse olfactory palette as labeled by the language of expert palettes. The evidence ostensibly contradicts Wittgenstein's analysis as olfaction precedes and supersets language as a prior. Here, more modern understanding of anatomical and evolutionary differences suggests a way out. Olfaction is a unique sense in that it impinges directly on a singular structure, the olfactory bulb, in the brain. Its function 
tracing as old as living cells performing chemotaxis. The olfactory bulb then impinges directly on the amygdala, responsible for emotion, and parahippocampal gyrus, which is responsible for memory, to induce the unique effect captured eloquently by Proust's Madeleine. Olfaction may predate the structures of higher intelligence animated by language. Does the rejection of a private language match the results from AI language models? The distinction lies on a continuum of weak to strong inferences on whether the internal processes constitutes the programming language, the neural network architecture, or the relation of the network parameters themselves once trained on a dataset. Only the strongest definition of a private language in terms of parameter gradient flows struck off easily definable aspects. In the end, Wittgenstein's emphasis on the language games obviates the detour into semantics by focusing more on the playing of the game and results-oriented interaction. Results-based behaviorist reductionism is addressed directly by Wittgenstein in section 307. His argument hinges on while his statements walk in line with a behaviorist interpretation. The argument precedes behaviorist thought in structure. Wittgenstein writes, Aren't you at bottom really saying that everything except human behavior is fiction? If I do speak of a fiction, then it is of a grammatical fiction. The behavior statement is the pith of the Turing test, and Wittgenstein's language games go a step beyond. That is, he turns back to look at us and winks to say, aren't you still in the glass bottle? In section 250, Wittgenstein asks if a dog could simulate pain. Perhaps it is possible to teach him to howl on particular occasions as if he were in pain even when he is not, but the surroundings which are necessary for this behavior to be real simulation are missing. Engendering general intelligence is transmuting the common intelligence into human. If Wittgenstein's language games are taken at face value, it means socializing intelligence. In section 650, Wittgenstein expounds the mainstay of child development as we transition from state machines to beings tempered by temporal expectation and prior in section 649, hinting at language as instrumental in the conclusion of infant amnesia. Pre-language infants and many non-human intelligences more resemble state machines governed by Markov processes, that is, probabilistic transitions between states than what we would commonly understand as rational individuals. An amazing result in neural networks is that language models forget, just as humans do. In parlance of section 57, the instrument of the language game is lost. General intelligence may happen in a singularity, but Wittgenstein's prediction is that advances bounded by language, and certainly investing in markets, happen in an interactive constructive format. Even with massive computational abilities, the external world, which is to say sensation transmutation for the individual, and other minds conception, are lockstep requirements for general intelligence to play the language game. This wouldn't be a proper AI video if we didn't play OpenAI's latest language model, GPT-3. Here we contrast the 375 million parameter GPT-2 model with the most recent GPT-3 DaVinci-3, released on November 28th, 2022. In the first GPT-2 example, the language model is stupefied, asking to our question, what did you do after? Or glibly replying, I didn't. Now, most perplexing with GPT-3, DaVinci-3, it answers, I was doing a physical activity. Now, it thinks it's embodied. Thus, out of our three pillars of intelligence, the only one missing is the other mind's conception. General intelligence as wrought by language advances may be more human than we think. Here at Amicus, we take a human-in-the-loop augmented investing co-pilot approach, pairing comprehensive AI with world-class talent.